How often do you thumb through the catalog and gloss over items at your first glance? Take the challenge to revisit a stamp set you wouldn't have used before and look for a way to work it into your next project. Like this stamp set here, it's called Do Your Best, and you'll see that it has a lot of different icons that are animal, and it's also got some gray sentiments, some really small words, some adorable little footprints. It's got a lot within one C size stamp set. I want to show you some ways to use it that you might not have thought of. On this layout here, I've simply used just the sentiments from this stamp set. So I've used white, uh, colonial white ink and stamped directly onto my photo down here, the sentiment. And then up here, I've also used it as part of my titling. So just taking the sentiments out of this stamp set will create a great camping layout. Now over here on this hinge display tray, I've used the bobcat. So these animals might be a perfect mascot for something in your school. By pairing that with your school colors, then you've got a great stamp set to use for different things related to the kids' schools. Or even if your child's involved in some kind of scouting program, this would be a great stamp set. Here we've made an adorable craft album using the stamp set all throughout. Here you can see we've got the wolf design. We've also used, again, the wording. Here I've used uh, the bobcat as a background and I've just random stamped that. You can tell it's really subtle, but it helps pull in that camping theme to my layout. Here I've created a B&T with the bear and by sponging that and distressing it, I've created a unique B&T look. And then here I've done the footprints of all the different animals and again, it just helps really theme my album. And here again, I've created my own B&T and used that sentiment and made that the title of this page. So you can see that that creates a great themed album. Now I'm going to just show you how I random stamped those backgrounds. I've got my bear image here and I've got cocoa ink. And when you random stamp, you always want to go with a triangular pattern. You can go as close to one another or as spread out as you want to get your design and it's important to make sure they're going off the page a little bit as well so that you're filling the entire space with the design. So you can see you just keep going and fill up your whole paper. Again, we've sponged on some of them, we distress some of them, and it creates your own background and texture paper. So you can use stamping in different and distinctive ways for a fresh take on your artwork. For more ideas, visit close to myheart.com.